week on you and James, he even accused you of throwing him under the bus. Yeah. Did you? I did not throw him under the bus. I would never do that to him. Do you know, let me explain why it was perceived that way. Yeah. And then you can react. When you went upstairs to the HOH room to apologize to Paul and Victor mm -hmm. for stabbing them in the back, you said, I put my trust, I put trust in the wrong people's hands. Mm -hmm. I really trusted James and his opinions. Mm -hmm. How do you think that was interpreted? What was that saying? Yeah. Well, basically what I was trying to say is I trusted Nicole and Corey due to James. He really trusted them. And I trusted Victor over, you know, Victor over Nicole and Corey. So I went with James's gut and I wasn't trying to throw him under the bus. I listened to, you know, certain things that people were saying and I believed it all and um, it kind of put me in that position. But I would never throw James under the bus ever in a million years. That was never my intent. Um, and honestly, I'm honored to leave next to him and I campaigned to keep him. So um, I thought that that would show everyone how much I care about him. We heard you just now in previous to just seconds ago call him your soulmate mm -hmm. and profess your love for him. Yeah. Everyone wants to know how real is this showmance? <laughs> I mean, it's really real. I can't make like my feelings up for him. I care about him so much. Like he's such a good human. He's me and a guy version. I mean, I'm really peppy and girly, and he's very country and he's Asian. But like, we just make it work. Um, I love him so much as a person. Whether we work out or not, I don't know. I don't is know what's gonna happen. Is there a chance outside the of the house <laughs> there? It turns romantic. <laughs> Honestly, it could. I'm not going to say yes and I'm not going to say no. It really depends on how we make it work. How is he going to do in the house without you now? I don't know. I hope that he does really well. I'm rooting him on. He has my vote if he makes it to final two, but he better not be the next one walking out those doors because I really want him to do well. What if he works with Nicole and Corey to get there? Honestly, I did say I'd be sad if he would, but at the end of the day, I told him before I left, you work with whoever you want to work with. Um, whatever gets you to final two, I support it and I care for you. Whatever you do, I support it. You know, sometimes in this game, you guys don't understand, it's really emotional. You miss your family. You don't even have a cell phone and you say things. You say things you don't really mean and people don't understand that. So out of anger, sometimes I say things, but then I apologize right after. So it fixes it. In the event, <laughs> in the event you were the one evicted tonight, your housemates taped some goodbye messages. Let's look okay. over here. And let's Natalie, watch you got me evicted, now I'm evicting you. I might have left on a mistake, but this was not. It sucks to see you go, but somebody has to win the 500K. I guess I'll see you on the outside. Natalie, you may have had the house fooled by playing dumb, but I knew you were a smart cookie from the get-go. You lost my respect when you threw James under the bus. Other than that, Nat, you're a sweet, fun little girl. Nothing but friendship on my end. Natalie, if you're seeing this, I'm really sorry. And that means I'm the only girl left in the house. Being up on the block next to your best friend has to be super difficult. You handled yourself really well, and you should be proud. Natalie, this is my toughest goodbye message ever. I know this game has been a stressful, emotional roller coaster, but I gotta say, through all this thick and thin, through all the fights and bickering, I had a great time getting to know you. You're a special human being to me. And you've taught me a lot about myself in this game. I didn't expect to get in a showmance, but I took one look at you and it was all over from there. You'll always be my number one and my best friend. Take care, girl. <laughs> See, I didn't realize I threw my, you know, you say things and you don't realize you throw people under the bus unintentionally because my, my heart was to always protect him, you know, so. Well, you're off to the jury house right I'm now. I'm excited. <laughs> but we'll see you back here on Wednesday, September 21st, when you and the rest of the jury vote for the winner yes. of Big Brother. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you Natalie. Julie.